We live in an area where research is the basis of innovation. The circular economy is based on the concept of a different way of compensing, deciding and producing. In such a way, the elements that make up the product can be 100% reduced or recycled. This implied a radical change in the traditional concept of our production because it requires putting the idea of eco-effectiveness and the balance between economy, equality and ecology at the center of design and development. Waste is resource. Everything that must be designed so that one it use life is sober, 100% of the elements that compose it can be used at resource. This system eliminates the concept of waste because they are equivalent to resource. It is a concept in Paris in by nature, in which the production of waste is not contemplated. The idea is to close the life cycle of every product, make it the end of the life the beginning of the next production. Recycle is not a trend. It is a necessary measure that we must follow to reduce the regeneration of waste that cause damage to the environment and therefore to us. Several organizations and programs have been made effort to communicate that yes, everything can be reduced and recycled for an indefinite period of time. The only thing that is required is their desire and ingenuity to achieve it. Nowadays, the world is in a growing need to develop new materials to replace those derived from petroleum, such as plastic. These materials, despite being very useful tools in the different activity of population, have become source of contamination by generating huge amounts of waste, constitute a serious environmental problem. The accumulation of this type of materials lies in their respective use poor handling of their waste, plus they are not degradable as they present a highly stable molecular structure and are very resistant to degradation of the environment. Contrary to this reality, there are many residual materials from agriculture that are destroyed without being used or are used in an uneconomical ways and can be used as a raw material for the production of new biodegradable products. In Ecuador, cassava is considered a fundamental product for food safety. In addition to being consumed as food, it is used as a raw material in local industry, such as textiles, balanced products, and carbon making. In the southern region of country, in the lower valleys of Sierra region, cassava cultivation is traditional. Therefore, by products such as barks can be easily obtained. For more than 40 years, Ecuador is known to be world leader in banana production. The greatest portion of the banana cultivation is distributed in the Ecuador coast. However, it is growth mentioned that in the warm valleys of Sierra, there is a great number of crops association that this type of plantation. In the Loja province, thanks to the benefit of the climate, plantation, especially banana, it has a lot to achieve high level of productivity. Consider the abundant production of these two products present in the country and the amount of waste that they generate, obtaining by products for their parks, it is a revolutionary idea which can replace products of mass in use in the market. Obtained good quality banana fibers is present in Ecuador, while obtained starch from tuber husk is a new idea that can bring great benefits. Based on the air formation and joint both perspective, this research has aimed to elaborate a starch polymer obtained from cassava bark waste and also natural fibers obtained from banana bark waste, which has similar characteristics to those of synthetic polymer and can be used as raw material for production of the quality and daily use items, thus reducing the environmental pollution. Materials and methods the barks were collected from three different areas adjacent to Loja City, especially for Catamayo Canton, Malacatus Paris, and Zamora Canton, from which the floor was extracted to obtain its starch percentage. The banana husks were collected from Loja. A starch extraction. A starch was extracted from the inner peels of cassava. 12 kilograms of cassava peels were collected, obtained 6 kilograms of starch. The starch was obtained at laboratory level through a manual process, which is commonly used by families dedicated to obtain cassava starch by hand. Following the process, select the peels, washing, liquid and griffin filtration, decantation, and finally drying and sieving. The starch obtained was characterized based on its percentage of humidity, impurities, dried appearance, and starch percentage. 
Natural Fiber Extraction Banana basil was selected and washed before the alkali treatment. Later, it was immersed in water for 10 hours and brought outermost layer and the green and middle layer were discarded to obtain the white inner layer. Then it was crushed in a bowl meal. Further, 100 grams of banana beans was treated with a sodium hydroxide solution in 1000 mg of boiled water for 4 hours to eliminate the lignin and to improve its ability to add to the biopolymer. This concentration was established according to the previous research of lignin. This concentration was established according to a previous research of lignin extraction from natural fibers. Finally, the sample was grown in one millimeter sieve of grammar green and achieved better appearance, texture, and compound between the fiber and the polymer matrix. Biopolymer synthesis. The synthesis of a starch and natural fiber biopolymer was divided in two phases. The first phase involves the polymerization of starch obtained from the cassava barks through the following process. Cream matrix were designed in the following process. 1 per 2, 1 per 3, and 1 per 6 from the mixture of the four independent variables, starch, glycerin, water, and acetic acid. All the variables with the three levels, high, medium, and low. Results. Based on the range established of the ASTM standards, the treatment with which the best quality biopolymer was obtained was composed of 19% of starch, 6% of glycerin, 74% of water, and 0.25% of acetic acid. An inlet temperature to add the fiber to the polymer matrix was between 50 and 54 degrees because the gelatinization process begins with this temperature range, so the fiber tends to pair perfectly to the matrix. During the dry process, the presence of the fiber prevents the biopolymer synthesis for shirking and helps maintain their shape. With more than 18% of fiber in the mix, the process does not take place and the fiber tends to burn. After the complementation of the research and the analysis of the different properties, it can be concluded that the pure biopolymer is suitable from the elaboration of decorative items, and the addition of natural fiber improves its quality and resistance. Finally, the invasion has been transferred to company Tropical Fruits, which is representative Carolina Escolish, to be used in Ecuadorian industry.